What's going on? Got a bit of good information for us. Um, just to give some background on what's going on. So this is a notch top, uh, like a 9798 Kuki SR20. Uh, we've been having an issue with what seemed like a uh, lack of signal to the injectors and the coils. Um, there was fuel coming all the way through the rail. We checked fuel. The injectors were not firing. We had power to the coil packs, but we were getting no spark. So I have since taken apart the dash, looked through all the wiring. All the wiring is legit. There's no weird splices anywhere. There's a couple wires down there that were messed with, but it was for the headlights. Um, so I started with the cheapest item and worked my way up. Um, this was a low mileage car, mind you, uh, probably 40 or 50,000 miles. That was pretty much confirmed as I was taking it apart. Um, so this looks like untouched. This literally looks, it could be like a, f like a refurbished unit. It looks good besides the bolts. Replace it with a new ISR OE igniter. Now we have spark. <laughs> So um, that's good, but we still have no fuel getting past the injectors. We have it going up through the rail to the injectors, but it's not getting through. So uh, the ECU is what grounds them, I believe, and what sends the signal to the injectors. So I have that on order, another one of those. Not new, obviously, because it's a 97 or 98, obviously. So I'm going to try that. And hopefully that should work. If it doesn't work, then it's most likely this uh, CAS, this CAS unit. So when you spin it, it should you should hear the injectors clicking, and you should be hearing the spark sequence on each of the cylinders. So um, I put my new God, what's it called, igniter in, and turned it by hand. And I could hear it. I could hear it faint. I put my uh, ear up to here and I could hear the click, 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 click. Or it's more like a zap, I guess. It's kind of like a buzz sound from each of the uh, coil packs. And then I put my old one in to confirm my, my diagnosis, I guess. No clicks. No clicks from any of the coils. So definitely glad I replaced the igniter. That would have been a nightmare to replace the CAS and the ECU just to have the igniter still be bad and not know it. So... Boom, we are getting closer. Um, pretty positive that it's going to be the ECU or the um, igniter, just because, not the igniter, ECU or the CAS. Um, I don't believe it's the wiring, because like I said, I have a wiring specialties harness, so that's pretty much perfect. And then the chassis wiring itself, I thought, was damaged just because the previous owner had done some weird splicing, but... The weird splicing that was done was just to like add electric fans and like hardwire the headlights and stuff. Nothing really sketchy with any of the relay power or um, ignition signals or anything like that. So pretty confident it's uh, going to be solved here in the next probably two weeks. The ECU will be here Monday and then um, a buddy of mine is actually going to let me uh, plug in his new CAS and spin it to see if that fires my injectors. If it does, then we found the culprit and we can finally get this thing started. Just wanted to give you an update and let you know that I'm not letting this die. I am working tirelessly to figure out what the issue is. I wanna get this started and I'm sure you guys wanna see it started. <laughs> I'm getting excited though. That definitely boosted my confidence uh, fixing the spark issue. Um, so yeah. Super excited, not really sure what else to say, just wanted to give you that little update. We are getting closer, so I'll see you soon.